woman in White River Junction lost all of her savings to a phone scam this week without giving the scammer any of her personal information. NBC5 Sid Boulay spent some time with her today and she wants to warn others about this scam. This is the number that they called me from, which you can find on the website. Margaret Fellows had her entire life savings stolen in a phone scam earlier this month. It's everything I had. It's $6,000 isn't a lot, but it's a lot to me. Fellow says she received a call from what she thought was Muscoma Bank, asking her about a suspicious charge. Everything seemed so honest and legit. When Fellows confirmed she hadn't made the charge, the criminal caller gained her trust by reading all of her personal information to her. No personal information. I know better than that. I didn't have to give them personal information because they knew what they could see everything. Next, Fellow says she was told to sign in and out of her account to start an investigation into the phony suspicious charge. I didn't transfer anything. I just signed on, signed off, and my account was supposed to be frozen. And that was enough. Within four days, all of Fellow's savings have been drained. I work hard for my money. I don't make a lot, but I make enough to live. Fellows reported the scam to Mascoma Bank and the Hartford Police Department. The department posted a warning on its Facebook page reading in part, scammers are spoofing local banking institution phone numbers and calling customers directly to inform them of problems with their accounts. Good news for Fellows, the real Mascoma Bank replaced all of her money. Muscoma Bank wouldn't comment on Fellow's case, but did send a statement to NBC5 saying in part, we do our best to educate our customers on how to handle the risks, including regular reminders that Muscoma Bank does not ask for personal or login information over the phone. I will never have an online banking account with any bank ever again. Fellow says she will take every step she can to ensure that she is never scammed again. In White River Junction, Sid Bule, NBC5 News. All right, if you get a call and you think it's a scam, call the Vermont Attorney General's Consumer Assistance Program, or CAP, for help. More information can be found on their website on how to spot and report scams.